Merry Christmas. Today is December 12th, the second Saturday of Advent. Luke 1, 28 to 33 reads, The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. The Lord had presented an impossible task before Mary. She would be the mother of the Son of God and God's instrument in bringing the long-awaited Messiah into the world. In her heart, she knew there was nothing special about her. What are the questions that must be going through her head? What does the Lord expect of me? Will I be able to measure up to the task that he set before me? What if I fail? The wonderful story of grace here is what Gabriel said in his greeting, the Lord is with you. The hope against hope that Mary receives is God himself. God is reassuring her that the task that he has set, the road that she is on, will be one traveled with the Father as her companion. We ourselves are often given impossible tasks like loving our enemies, forgiving the ones who have sinned against us, loving a difficult spouse, or facing the holidays without family. Whatever road we find ourselves on, we can know for sure that we are highly favored, not because of anything that is special within us, but because of who we have with us, Christ. The love of God is not based on our performance, but on our spotless righteousness, who is Jesus Christ. Like Mary, the Lord is with us. Pray with me, please. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. You have promised to be with us as we spread the gospel throughout this community. Thank you for changing the hearts of men and women with your gospel of good news. Thank you for the people that you have entrusted to our care. I pray that you will prepare our hearts, that we might be used as instruments to bring the gospel to the lives of the people in our communities. Father, teach us to love each other so others might see that we belong to you. Grace and peace to you from God our Father in sending his blessed Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.